remember this disaster. What is it called? Oh my gosh, it's on my mind. It's gone, a crazy looking haircut. Please hold off, I, you, will, you will thank me. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a, another hair extension video. It has been a minute since we've done one of these on my channel. I am finally about to put my keratin hair extensions back in, so I'm gonna do a whole video on that for you guys, how to reuse your keratin hair extensions, so get ready for that video to be coming up very soon. But today, I want to let you guys know my tips and tricks on getting your hair ready to have hair extensions, and how to make it that you don't run into many problems when your hair extensions are put in, and you keep your hair as the least amount of damage possible to it throughout the whole process. So if you guys want to know what my tips and tricks are, then just keep watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's jump right on in. If you guys are new to my channel, I have been wearing keratin hair extensions for six years, on and off for six years. And I've gone through, you know, the disasters. If you guys have been with me long enough, you've seen my video where this occurred. And if you are going through a similar issue right now, feel free to check, uh, click on that video. I'll put a link up here if you have a knot in your hair. It's very scary, and I kind of tell you guys how to prevent that from happening, but also what to do if you do get a knot in your hair. But today's video is on what to do before you put in your hair extensions. So my number one thing to do is make sure you get your hair done before you put your hair extensions in. If you are blonde, if you're brunette, and you dye your hair, get that done before you put your hair extensions in. I bleach my hair. I usually let my hair grow out for like a month or two after I get it done. That way I just let my hair get a little bit more healthy before putting my keratin hair extensions back in. The reason being, if you put your extensions in and then you try to bleach it, it's gonna be one, very difficult. I don't even know a hairdresser that would do that. My hairdressers won't. They always say like come before or after you take them out. Second reason is that your bonds attached to your hair. So wherever they're attached to, say you dye your hair, bleach your hair, that part's not gonna get bleach. Or you might cause your extensions to break down and they'll just fall out, which would be pretty much the worst case scenario is you just lose all your extensions. As someone with blonde hair, another really important thing that I do is make sure I tone my hair a lot before I put my keratin hair extensions in. So like I said, I wait a month or two. Then I will do a lot of like purple shampoos through my hair to make sure that my hair stays as light as possible so that they match my hair extensions the best that they can. Like this last week, since I'm putting my hair extensions in on Wednesday or Thursday of this upcoming week, I have already done two purple shampoo masks and I will actually be talking about that mask in another video, but it's the Christopher Robin one, that baby blonde, or I think it's back to baby blonde, whatever. That one is. I just wanna make sure when I put my extensions back in that my hair is as light as can be because just throughout, if you're a blonde, you understand. Throughout time, your blonde hair becomes darker, goes a little yellow, and I don't like to tone my hair often with hair extensions. If you are going to do it, which I'm gonna have to because my hair is gonna get dark and then my hair extensions will match my hair, I use a purple conditioning mask. That way, purple shampoo, dries your hair out like crazy. So I always make sure to put in a mask, that way my hair extensions aren't drying out since you can't really fix hair extensions once they're completely dried out, they're not natural hair, there's no natural oils going on them. You can save them for a little bit by putting like oil on them, like an oil treatment, but that's only gonna preserve them for maybe a few more weeks. Another important thing to do at your salon or just you in general if you cut your own hair, do not give yourself a blunt Haircut. Blunt haircuts are super difficult to blend in with hair extensions. Now, I do have them as soon as I get my hair cut. Like, I just don't really put many layers into my actual hair, but I do have my actual hair. This is my actual hair, but I do uh, face framing layers. That way, when they're in my hair, it's not like a blunt cut right here and then some long hair extensions. Another Easy thing for me is that my hair is pretty long to begin with, so if you have longer hair, it's definitely gonna be a lot easier to blend hair extensions in. But do not give yourself a blunt haircut, especially if you have thick hair, because it's there's just gonna be what they call like the line of demarcation right there, where it's like you could see where your hair cuts off and then where your hair extensions start. So I highly recommend putting some layers in your hair if you want your hair extensions to blend the best. And if you're like me and your hair is like a medium thickness and you don't want like layers throughout the whole thing because it would make the bottom of my hair really thin, I just do face framing high up. Uh, face framing, what are they called? Oh my gosh, face framing layers. Y'all, my mind, it's gone. 
My third tip is to make sure that your hair is as healthy as it can be. When you bleach your hair like me, yes, sometimes it can get a little bit dried out. As I mentioned, I wait around a month or two before I even put my extensions in. That way I can make my hair be healthy again, like absorb all the moisture and just get back to normal so I can put my hair extensions in. I also, uh, if, if you guys can't notice, always have, like I do a balayage. I don't do, just do a whole, well I do, I don't do a balayage. I do a full set of highlights and I also add a shadow root that way as the hair goes out, it blends better, but also I wanna put the extensions on my like fresh hair, not my hair that's already been touched with dye or been, I almost said fried, my hair has not been fried, but been touched with dye or been bleached before. That way it's just, it seems to be a little bit more sturdy. So if you have that option, I highly recommend doing that. The reason why it's so important not to put it on damaged hair is that when you apply the weight of an extension to damaged hair, it can cause breakage. Your hair can just break straight off. You know, these weird, like, short patches of hair. I know a lot of times people want to put hair extensions in when their hair is damaged to make it look just a little bit better. But I promise you, it's only going to make the whole situation worse. So if you can at least wait two months and just put masks on your hair and use really good shampoo and conditioner, you will think yourself in the long run because your hair like will literally break off. I'm not joking with you guys, I'm being serious. When my sister fried her hair, the hairdresser literally said, don't even use clip-in extensions because you will break your hair off. And her wedding was in a few months, so we could not risk it. So although you want to put them in your hair, please hold off. I, you will you will thank me. When you have extensions, shampoo and conditioner is super important. You don't want any parabens, sulfates, and also, no oils and that some of you are like well duh but honestly i was so stupid the first time i ever got extensions i'm like i'm gonna take such great care of these i bought the moroccan oil shampoo and conditioner and guess what the extensions were coming out one by one because that oil broke down the bonds and they were just like sliding because i was in class and one time i'm like you will see like a little piece of getting longer than the rest and you're like oh no and you like you know pull it out real fast and stick it in your bag like that will happen so make sure anything you put in your hair does not have oil if you are going to use like an oil treatment on extensions not do not put it anywhere near your roots like chin down guys chin down do not put it near the bonds or they will just fall out and you will regret everything in life because you just did all that hard work to put them in and now they're just flying out the brand I used a lot when I have extensions is the Matrix. Let me go grab it so that you guys can see exactly which one I use since I get a lot of questions about shampoos and conditioners and what works best. This is the brand and product that I found works best with my extensions and it's the Matrix Total Results Mega Sleek Shampoo and I also use their conditioner and it makes my hair so soft, it preserves the extensions really well without breaking it down and causing them to fall out. If you're looking for a shampoo and conditioner, I highly recommend checking that out. And Ulta has a huge sale. I got this for like $20, both like the shampoo and conditioner, both for $20. So really go check them out. They have a really nice sale for their big size bottles of shampoo and conditioner. A little tip for when you go to apply the hair extensions, make sure there is no products in your hair. You want it, someone commented saying you want dirty hair. Well, if you want dirt, if you're gonna not put it on clean hair, put it on hair with no product in it. It doesn't have to be your first day hair, it can be second or third, but don't put it in with leave-in conditioners if you put oils in your hair because the bond won't attach as well to your hair. Another thing is once they're in your hair, you do not want to shower for like 24 to 48 hours. Just let the bonds uh, secure themselves and get really hard. If you go in the shower, you can they soften up in the shower. So you just don't, don't wash your hair for a few days, okay? And my last most important tip for you all is do your research. If you do not research these extensions before you put them in, you will have problems <laughs> because you won't know how you should brush your hair, how you should sleep at night with your hair, and what to do when there's an issue. I have videos on all of this, so check out my playlist on hair extensions and it will really help you out. I did as much research as I could the first time, but there I didn't see a lot on them other than like people saying, put your hair in a braid at night. So I want to give you guys the total, like what happens if it goes wrong or how to prevent things from going wrong, what products use, like it just, I feel like I didn't have that much information out there on permanent hair extensions. There was a ton on clip and hair extensions. So I wanted to be that guide for you all. So check out my playlist if you are getting keratin hair extensions or you're putting them in yourself. I have a whole video on how to put them in your hair, but 
that will save you so much time, effort, and so much damage to your hair if you just do a ton, a ton of research. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you're excited to see my video on how to reuse your keratin hair extensions. That will be coming to you guys very shortly. So if you guys liked today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow my Instagram. It's at Elizabeth underscore YT. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.